Hi everyone, welcome. This is Melissa coming to you live from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm so excited to be on this live broadcast today, basically talking to you guys about discovering the secrets of personal branding for home-based business owners. So this is basically the first thing that you need to do when you start with a home-based business. It doesn't matter if you're on the MLM, on in a home-based products, or just sport and nutrition, forex. If you are in the home-based business industry, this is the first thing that you need to do. You need to brand yourself so that when you brand yourself, you are stepping into your personal power as a leader. And that's when people will actually see you as a leader. Because in, in the reality, for example, I will just tell you a story about me when I did start in the direct sales um, and the whole online business space. So the whole reason why I actually started was because I wanted more money, but I also wanted something different. I want something different to my, my, my full-time job because even though I have studied my, in my career path, it is something that I've realized like over time, wait a minute, this is actually not my passion anymore. But because I actually have an issue and I struggle with the term job, I don't want to go to an, another job. I don't want, I don't want to step into another job. So what can I do in order not to go to another job where I have a boss that's telling me what to do? And when I basically, when I want to go, when I, when I want to go to travel, I have to literally write an annual leave form and they will be in control of my life. And that's something that I was really annoyed about because I, I, I always like to travel, especially when it's winter in New Zealand, I always like to go to the summer. But especially because I want to go every year, I don't want anybody to stop me when, when I want to go and travel. So I was like, okay, so that means there must be something else out there that I can do maybe. And what was funny is I had, it was funny because it was my, my old boss that actually introduced me to the whole network marketing scene. So I was in a direct sales company where it was all about antioxidants, um, making your skin look nicer and brighter and younger. And when I was in the direct sales market, what I was taught is to literally spam your link to everybody. Literally make a, a, a list of your top 200 friends and just tell them about how amazing the product is, what, how, the, how they are like top ranked, like they're 500 in the 500 ink and they are, and you're going to make so much money and there's so much antioxidants in the product. And that's literally what I was doing. And until I realized that I was not making any money from that, like I actually realized because I'm a little bit analytical that it doesn't, it didn't produce any money. I only maybe had like a friend that bought something, maybe just because she wanted to support me. But, and because I wasn't making any money, I, started like slowly, slowly wanting to give up until I found a mentorship pro a program, a millionaire mentoring program. And I was like, wow, it's like literally the scales fell off my eyes when I realized, wow, is this what the top ranking business owners do? Is this what the seven figure income um, earners do? It's like, and when I was in the direct sales company, I was like, I was thinking and I was, and I was like, wow, why are they not telling us this? Why are they not telling us to use diff these strategies that they probably use? So when I, when I started with this Millennium Mentoring Program, the first thing that I, they taught us was to get branded, was to get branded. But when my mentor tell, told me this, I was actually a little bit shocked because he told me it is not about your product. And it's not about the company. It's not about the business. It, you should not be talking about your product. You should not be talking about your business with people. And I, and I like sit back a little bit because now I literally came from this direct sales background where I was like, but that's what I was doing all the time. Like, and I was like very intrigued. And then when I stopped doing that, I realized that wait, I have something going here. Something is literally going here. So what I actually did, I followed the strategies. I started branding myself. So by branding my, myself means that you have to take ownership and step into, the, into your own personal power as a leader because the product 
in the reality is actually you. Because why are you following those seven-figure income earners? Why, why have you joined those business programs? It's because you actually saw them as a leader, didn't you? You saw them as a leader, didn't you? That's why you actually joined. So I was like, wait a minute. If that's what they are doing, that's what I should be doing too. That's what I should be doing too. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm just going to show you what you can do or how you can do it to personally brand yourself, especially if you're new in the home-based business industry. And also later, I've got a special guest for you. And I am very excited to bring him on here. And he will basically be talking to us why he stepped into the whole digital marketing scene and how personal branding helped explode basically his business. So I'm just going to share my screen with you guys. Let's just see. Let me just, can I unmute? Sorry. Or can you guys yeah, comment? You can see it. Can Perfectly. See that? Yep. Oh, that's good. That's good. So personal branding. So basically, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to brand yourself on Facebook. Okay, let's see what this goes next. Yeah. So, but what you have to understand first is what is the psychology behind Facebook when you are in a network marketing business? You have to actually see Facebook as your shop, your own personal shop. So in the real world, when you go to a shop or there's a specific um, like restaurant or shop that you really like, why do you like it? Why do you like that specific shop? Why do you like that brand? It's because maybe in the shop, something is decorated really nicely. It really attracts you. The psychology behind it is that it really attracts you. Maybe the colors attract you. Maybe the wording in the shop attracts you. Um, the people in there, the environment in there, it's just a really pleasant environment. So this is the same way that you actually need to treat your Facebook, is that your Facebook is literally like a shop. And when you decorate your Facebook, like if you decorate your shop, your, the interior of your shop, people will naturally start flocking to it and they will naturally start liking it. So attracting people to your page organically by using free strategies and what is these free strategies that you can use in order to attract people? But that's something that I won't dig into right now. But firstly, when you are on your personal profile, what you have to do is you have to select the of you, just a really clear picture that will brand you. So you shouldn't be posting or having profile pictures of your car, your dog, your cat, your kids, or your company, or even your products. That's a big no-no. People want to connect with a person, not with an object. So you should have a really nice, clean photo of your face so people can connect with you. So for example, this is my, this is my picture on my profile page so literally it's a, a picture of my face up until my shoulders and it's a really clear image and I'm not wearing any sunglasses either to hide my face so it has to be a really neat clear picture so what you should, what you should do next is basically to fill out your about section like your work and education section place where you live your contact details your family relationship details and just life events so this is basically get, giving people a little bit of insight of who you are and when you do set up your about section it has to be real and authentic because in the in because in the end of the day people will only actually buy from people that they like trust and aspire to be like then the next thing that you should do, you should get a Facebook cover page. And this is my Facebook cover page. Um, there's a few, there is a few pretty cool tools that you can use to uh, create a cover page. Um, you can use graphic designers or you can use page strategies as well, or you can use a free one, which is pretty cool. 
So the free strategies is Canva. So Canva is actually really an amazing tool. So what I will do is I will just go back and share with you or just show you what Canva looks like. So this is Canva. So if you want to write that down, that's www.canva.com. So literally here you can just play around with Canva. I love Canva. It's amazing. It is really amazing. So you can literally you can make Facebook covers, anything on Facebook. You can make presentations as well, posters, flyers, Facebook posts. But here's the one that you can use for Facebook covers. You can actually put play around with this. You can add your pictures, you can add text and stuff. So I'm just going to briefly show you that. But so as long as you just you write it down and then later you can go and have a play with it. So this is what it looks like. So there is a few in here where you will have free templates. So those free templates, you can use them, but the other ones you have to pay for. And that's when you but basically upgrade like I didn't upgrade, so I'm just using the free platform because there's, they actually have quite a, a lot of free um, templates that you can use. And what I normally do is I would download something from Google, but it has to be a picture. If I just go here and I will show you, it has to be a picture that you can commercially use. Otherwise you might get penalized if you sometimes post it on Facebook because Facebook picks all those things up. So you don't want to get penalized and you want it to be shown on your Facebook, right? Because it's all those algorithms that plays in, that goes in place. So if you go here to license, so say for example, you wanted uh, just a picture of Google that you want to add. I'm just making an example. You want to add a picture into your cover page. You'll have to go to license and then you'll have to go to free to share and use commercially. So any of these three you can use or you can use free to modify and share. So if, if I had to click on that, that means that you can use any of this and you can freely post it on Facebook as well. That means if it is on Facebook, they won't penalize you or they won't, um, it will show up on your, on your feed, on your news feed and people will be able to see it. So, that, so that's Canva. So I hope you guys wrote that one down. Let's just go back to, yeah, so that's one of the free strategies. Canva to create a, you can even um, create your personal profile picture if you want to edit it a little bit, patch up. Then there's also page strategies. Uh, we've actually, I've actually got a graphic designer. His name is Gergen Sharma, but it all, it's all up to you. Then there's also another paid one that's called Fiverr and that starts from $5 onwards and up. So it's literally, it's up to you. The thing is, if you do start paying for something, it looks way more professional. Like my one I paid for and it looks way more professional and people actually will see you as a leader because now you're stepping into leadership, right? So basically, that's the first strategy. So when you get started in this industry, even if you haven't done it right now, if you, if you have been in the industry for quite some time and you don't have a cover page, you don't have your profile picture up, I really highly recommend that you, used, you, do, it, you do it now because that will make you look like a leader. But the thing is, once you do the cover page and once you put your profile picture, what you have to realize is, that this business model that you're actually in is a personal development business model. It's a personal development business model because what do all leaders actually have in common? So for example, leaders like Jim Rohn, like uh, Bryce, Brian Tracy, like Napoleon Hill, what do they all have in common? Is that they started off investing in themselves. They started off in, the, in investing in themselves, um, reading books, listening to audios, to videos, attending webinars and seminars to, to, to grow their knowledge and how to become a leader and how and to see what qualities that they don't have as a leader and to work on it so that they can grow. So this is something you have to take into account. 
that personal development is key, is key. So, so on your Facebook, what you have to do is the personal development strategies is that you, the foundation is motivation and inspiration. So also there is, there's other questions that you have to ask yourself as well when you are branding yourself is to ask yourself what is the type of value that you are going to generate? What is the type of value that you're going to share with your audience? What type of content will you be creating for your audience? So I'm actually, I'm not going to go too in depth about this because it is just, it's, my, it's just a personal branding training. I will be doing other trainings later on different topics. So then the next thing that you have to think about is that you actually, you have to be you. You have to be authentic. You have to be your real self. And you have to ask yourself, okay, what is my passion? What is my values? And what is my values? And how do I align myself with the company's values? Then the third thing you have to ask yourself is, okay, what is my goals? What is the goal? What is the end goal in mind? Or what is the end goal? What is it that you want to achieve? What is it that you actually want to achieve? What is the reason why you joined this home-based business? Why did you join this home-based business in the first place? So I am going to invite up our personal and speaker, Sylvie Johnson, and I would just like him to share with, with you why he actually joined this whole digital marketing rigmarole. Sylvie so Johnson, welcome. Welcome cool. to the live. All right. Love What's it going to have on? you here. Hey, thanks for having me. You want to unshare the screen just for a bit so I can go on there? Yes. All right, there we are. All right, thank you, Melissa, for having me. It's awesome. Oh, welcome. Cool, thank cool. You. And yes, we have been on a journey together, haven't we? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Cool. So, yeah, uh, I can confirm everything she's saying. Most definitely, you know, branding is something that completely changes the game for you, right? If you guys are out there and you're trying to understand how to make money online, or if you've been struggling to get leads, you've been struggling to close sales, right? You can't upsell, you can't downsell. All of these things actually stem from how you're perceived in the marketplace, okay? The way people look at you is actually do business with you, right? You have to think of it this way, right? Our millionaire mentor always says this to us. Think of Facebook as a giant lounge, okay? A giant lounge, a cocktail lounge. And you walk into this lounge, right? And there's all these amazing people everywhere, but you don't know who you can do business with or who's even interested in business or what these people are doing. But you can tell just by looking at someone, right? If they're polished, if they're dressed well, if their hair is nice, you know, if they have proper grooming standards, right? If they have high posture and they're in good shape, right? You know that that person is on a personal development path, number one. And number two, you know that that person is probably in a good space with whatever it is they're doing, right? And you can tell when you scan a room, right? This is something you do when you're in networking offline, right? I don't know if you guys are in networking offline, but you are, whether you know it or not, life is networking, okay? So this is something that's intuitive to you. But now imagine if you had a little microchip in your eye, right? And you could see all this data about the, pe the person you're looking at, right? So I look over at Sally and I think, oh, you know what? She, she has a, you know, a beautiful suit on and she's very well groomed and she's talking with confidence and she's leading a discussion about the economy. She looks like someone I would like to talk to and network with. And then I turn on my little, my little radar here and I can see everything about her, right? I can see her birthday, where she's from. Is she married? What kind of food does she like to eat? What kind of you know, uh, activities is she into? Does she have kids? Does she have pets? Where was the last trip she was on? What did she do yesterday, right? I know everything about that person just by looking at my little microchip. So that's what Facebook is, right? Facebook has two sides to it, okay? There's a producer and there's a consumer. Okay. There's a producer and a consumer. This goes the same with everything else, television, radio, anything with media, right? You're either absorbing the content, right? You guys showed up on this webinar with Melissa today, and that tells me that either you are a producer 
or you want to step into the producer space. Okay. Now to be a producer in anything, you have to bring value to the marketplace. Okay. To bring value to the marketplace. First, you have to have something of value, right? Which we do. We've been taught by our millionaire mentors how to provide this value to people. But no matter how much value you have, if you're not branded correctly, if they look at their microchip and they see some, you know, uh, low life scumbag, sorry for lack of better words, they're not going to do business with you. Right? So when she's talking about your profile picture, your banner on your page, the way you're presenting yourself, using all these resources she's sharing with you, these are the things that you need to do if you want to be taken seriously as a leader in this space. Okay. If we look at our millionaire mentoring team, okay. We have people on our team that are making 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month, regular people, just like us. There's nothing special about them whatsoever. By the way, side note, all humans are equal. Okay. It just depends how hard you work on yourself. That's the side note. That's from Jim Rohn, by the way. <laughs> right. So it just depends on how hard you're working for yourself inside. Right. And it reflects externally. Right. When you go somewhere and you see someone who has that posture, who's saying, you know, they're working on themselves. But if your Facebook profile, if your branding is not showing this to the world, how do they know? Right. They don't know. And if they don't know, they're not going to be attracted to you. Right. And now when it comes to attraction, I'm sure you've been bombarded by people spamming you or you've had experience of going into groups where people are spamming. And then there's the other side of the coin where people are attracted to other people, right? When you step into your leadership role, when you step into your power, and when you're presenting yourself as a professional leader with branding, like Melissa's talking about, all of a sudden you become what's called the attractor factor. Okay. The attractor factor. The only way to become the attractor factor guys is if you're branded. If you're not branded, you're just another person. Nobody will be attracted to you. If anything, it's hurting you because people who are branded like Melissa and myself, right? People that are professionals in this industry, people that are making money in an industry where 97% of people are not making a dime and we're making thousands of dollars. People like us are not going to do business with someone who's not branded, right? I get, I get probably 50 friend requests a day. I honestly go look at their profile and within one second, I know if I'm going to say hello to that person. That might They could tell me everything I need to know and take me to the moon and back. But I don't know that if they're not branded, right? If they're not being professional, how do I know? I don't. So I'm just going to ignore them, right? So if that's you, right? If you're being ignored, or if you're not getting the attraction factor that you want, you have to look at your branding. You have to look at your branding. Your branding is where it starts, right? Now, Melissa, I saw your branding and it's amazing, right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We both went to the, we went to this, we went to the same resource, right? We, we went the same route to do it. Our millionaire mentors helped us out with where to get the branding done and how to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've seen a great increase in your interaction since branding yourself. Yes. Does that sound right? Yes, definitely. Definitely a bigger increase of it's literally like what it does. It like peaks curiosity. So people naturally like flock to you and be like, oh, what are you up to? Like I've seen everything has changed so much for you. Like even you're so positive, you're so motivated, like what, like what's been happening. So people just naturally would flock to you. But yeah, I so I hundred percent agree with everything that you said, and I I just wanted to ask you so they can share with people a little bit more. So before you started Black Ops, you weren't branded, right? So how how would you say after you joined Black Ops and you got branded, how has your business changed for you? <laughs> it is like it is like uh, <laughs> a completely different world, <laughs> right? It's a completely different world. I'm just being honest. Before I joined Black, before I had Millionaire Mentors and I was in Black Ops, right? I was in the Make Money Online space, but I wasn't making any money, all right? I was making maybe a dollar here and there, but these were just, you know, what I would call flukes, you know, just a fluke sale or something like this. Yeah. 
what I learned from our millionaire mentors, it goes so much deeper than branding, obviously, right? They give us the whole spectrum how to make money online, how to present yourself as a leader. But as far as the brand now, when they explained that to me, I had a light bulb moment when I was like, oh, yes. oh my God. I have just been putting pictures of my dog on my background, right? And my and my my content was absolutely you can this is a takeaway for you. Your brand is you, right? You are the brand, right? Never brand your company, right? Brand yourself. That's number one, obviously. It's not obvious actually. It's obvious now, but it's not obvious to a lot of people. Brand yourself. But when you start doing that, right, people are attracted to you as a human. So now I'm getting people coming to me being like, hey, Sivvy, you know, what do you do? Or, hey, Sivvy, I saw you went to this um, blockchain summit and you were hosting. And the only reason that they're coming and talking to me about this stuff is because I've branded myself as a leader and as a professional, right? They would never come and talk to me about what I'm doing if I had my cute dog sativa on my background and my content was just, you know, just irrelevant to the industry, right? Another thing that our millionaire mentor tells us, now this is a nugget for you, okay? When you're presenting your content, when you're presenting yourself, speak to the listening. Speak to the listening. So what do I mean by that? I mean, think about who your target market is. Okay, your perfect avatar, the person who you want to do business with, right? Spoiler alert, it's you. Okay, it's you. You look for people exactly like you. That's, the, that's who you want. Because people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Okay, so you need to get people surrounding you that know, like, and trust you. Now, there's proven formulas how to do this, which our millionaire mentors teach us. Step-by-step -step proven blueprint formulas that work. Okay. They've been proven. There's hundreds of us making thousands of dollars following a simple system. Okay. But what I mean by speaking to the listening is that what the words you put on the, on your post, right? You want to speak to people that are looking for what you're giving, right? So niche, right? Say you're selling weight loss supplements or something. You want to speak to someone who's looking to either buy weight loss supplements or be a rep for that, right? You don't want to speak to somebody who you're trying to convince that they should get a weight loss supplement. No, that is not speaking to the listening. That's trying to convince somebody who doesn't care and you'll get nowhere with that. Speak to the listening. So you're looking for people that are looking for what you have and you speak to them. And by the way you present your content again and this is something we're taught inside our millionaire mentoring and this is one of the things that completely changed my interaction because I changed the way I do my posts right so if you combine that speaking to the listening with the Facebook formula of how and when to post certain content which they teach us right and on top of it you are branded as a professional right you're branded as a professional those three th things create an attraction towards you and when you're attracting people towards you you're a leader and then it's your job to provide value back to the marketplace and when you do that money rains from the sky <laughs> yes Wow, there were so many golden nuggets you shared with us. That's so amazing. Oh my God. So from that, so basically what you're saying is that when you didn't have a mentor, you weren't branded, right? Correct. So why, why did you get a mentor and why, what do you think is the, what brought out, what is it that brought out of you this mentorship program? Like, like what happened when you started having a mentor? What happened? Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing was for me, right? Before I got my, before I entered Black Ops and got into millionaire mentoring, like I say, I was failing online, right? My offline businesses were struggling. I'm an entrepreneur offline, right? I have a, a 
handful of businesses and they were all failing due to the economy here where I live. It's not an excuse. It's real. You can look up Barakai. It's real. So I was in a really tough spot and I knew that I wanted to make money online, but I knew that I was also failing at it like most people do. And I sort of fell into a rut of trying to buy paid ads, buy paid traffic and sending it to a sales funnel. It just wasn't working, right? They call that the debt model. And that's the model that most leaders teach you because they want you to buy traffic from their link, right? It's a very dark space. So I kind of realized that I needed to change it up, right? And when I bumped into these gentlemen online, um, they spoke to me in a way that nobody really has, right? Melissa and I are both quite spiritual people, right? Um, we, we both practice yoga, right? We meditate a lot. We go on retreats. We do these kinds of things. So we're, we're aligned that way on our vibe. So when people speak to us in a certain way that touches you in that, that area in your soul, I heard someone speaking those words to me about personal development, growth, mindset, you know, positive energy, vibrations, quantum physics, all these things that we love, right? And then I was thinking, well, I thought we were talking about making money on the internet. Like, you know, I'm totally confused. And when I realized that that was the thing that actually catapults people into success when they merge the two things that's when I realized my god do I ever need a mentor and this is the person for me because they're speaking exactly my language right now when I got inside there my my mind was completely blown like everybody else's is if you speak to anybody in our mentorship program anybody at all number one when they came in they were failing okay number two most of us were in victimhood or some negative space in our mind, right? Feeling sorry for ourselves, thinking everybody else is, can make it, but we can't, you know, feeling like this down sort of negative vibe, right? We were all in that space, confused, lost, overwhelmed by the internet marketing space because there's so much out there, right? I'm sure you guys can understand that, right? There's so much out there. It's confusing and overwhelming. And it gets to the point where you just want to like close your computer and throw it off the, off the deck of my house. I almost did that like a hundred times. So when I got in there, all of a sudden, they start working on your mindset with you. They provide training. You know, there's, there's, there's a Rolodex of training that we go through that is all about mindset, right? And then when you start fixing your mindset and your belief system and everything, then they open the door to the actual internet marketing world, providing value, being a leader, you know, this kind of stuff. And, but you have to get through that first space to get into the next space. And that's where most people fail because they're not taking care of the inner work first, right? They're not, they don't have the self-belief, none of that stuff. They just try to get to the money. And when you try to get to the money, you're just pushing away energy because you don't have the abundance mindset. You're living in scarcity, right? So they make us have the right mindset to actually step into the space. Then when we step into the space, when they see that your mind is right and it gets right very quickly, I'm sure Melissa can attest to that. They fix your shit up fast, okay? Once you're in that space, then they say, okay, this is how the seven and eight figure income earners make money, right? This is how they do it. Check out this formula. This is what you need to do. If you follow it, you'll make money. We have hundreds of students doing it. It's up to you to take action. And they put it on you. It's on your shoulders, right? We're responsible for our future. So when I got inside there, they fixed my mind. They got me totally, pulled me out of my depression. I was depressed. I'm never a depressed person. I was depressed. They pulled me out of it. They got me on a positive path. And then they showed me actually how to make money on the internet, right? And for me, that was about three months. And since then, I'm on a totally different path mentally, right? I'm in really good physical shape, which I usually am anyway, but I'm actually in better shape now because I'm doing more just because of my mindset, right? I'm in a more positive space, so I have more energy to exercise, right? <clears throat> when you're depressed, you don't have any energy to exercise. That's why people get out of shape when they're depressed, right? So in shape, happy, and now I'm stepping into understanding how to make money, and now I'm having $1,000 weeks pretty consistently, right? So what's changed for me, it's not even that I'm making money on the internet. They literally changed my life. They literally changed my life. And the thing is, like I just did an interview with one of our students yesterday. I've been in all sorts of interviews lately with our students and other students in there. And everybody has the same story because we're all the same. 
and you're the same right now. You're watching this for a reason. You're the same. I'm sure of it, right? We're all there. We've all been there. Everyone's on the same journey, the same path. We're just in different places. But when you get to a certain spot, you have to realize you need help. You have to take that hand, let someone pull you. And for me, I want to be pulled by people who have been in the industry for 30 years, who have made millions of dollars, okay? These are not six-figure earners. These are seven and eight-figure earners, meaning 10 million a year in profit in their bank, okay? That's no joke. That's not like some kid who hit it on Shopify and made a grand or a hundred grand and he's telling the world about it. This is a totally different ballgame. These guys came from corporate America, CEO, CFO level, and now they're implementing their strategies online because they love the power of the internet and they love freedom. They travel a lot. They have a very amazing lifestyle, okay? These are the kind of gentlemen that I want to surround myself with, right? They say you're the sum of the five people you hang out with most, so why not make two of them multimillionaires in the internet space? That's my philosophy, <laughs> right? So that's what they've done for me, and I feel blessed to be involved with them. I will be with them for the rest of my life, completely loyal, no matter what, for now, from now forever, they will be my millionaire mentors. And anyone who comes in my you know, circle of influence and I can see they're in a shitty spot in their world or they need to learn how to make money or they're struggling or they have so much pain because most people do online, they can't sell, they can't make money, they can't do anything. If I see people in that space, I show them the door, but they have to walk through it. So you have to walk through the door right now. We'll be waiting on the other side with the millionaire mentors and it is a nice place to be. Wow, amazing. It's like it gives me like cold shivers because it's amazing. The, the whole transformation, especially yeah. even like me before I had a mentor, it's like you literally you have no idea what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just pretending to be busy, you're just pretending to be productive, but in the reality, nothing is actually happening. You don't actually have any traction, and that's what happened to me. Once I had a mentor, once I joined the Millennium Mentoring Group, it was really transformational because it really tapped into you as a person on a physical not just physical as emotional like very emotional it's where you actually acknowledge okay you pinpoint what are the things that is stopping me from moving forward to be successful or to achieve anything in your life that you want to actually achieve like what is it that's actually stopping you and this is the type of things that they tap into what, what Sylvia was talking about is because what I've experienced over time, especially being here in New Zealand, which is something that I don't understand really. I'm still trying to come to terms with it here in this beautiful paradise that I live in. A lot of teenagers suffer from depression. So the suicidal rate in New Zealand amongst men is actually really high. Oh. And what I've noticed, even with my friends, with my, some of my friends, people that I just meet, is that the whole thing is when I listen to this story, because I am an observer, I observe people, and I, um, with what they talk to me, I can kind of feel where their struggles might be. So, for example, if I had to make like a short summary, what I feel from those people or what their stories comes from is that there's no worth. They don't feel worthy. They don't feel worthy. They don't feel good enough. They don't feel good enough. And then when, when they don't feel worthy, that's when all the other um, down breakers come in. It's like, oh, I don't have love. And this is where your mind plays tricks on you. Your mind starts to play tricks on you because now you don't feel worthy. And then there's no self-love. Now, when there's no self-love, all these other things comes in. There's like, there's no confidence. There's no confidence and everything's just a whole big spiral that there's no happiness. The happiness is decreasing and that's when people go into a valley. And this is what this mentorship program does because I was found, even me, I was, had depression uh, last year and this program really changed me as a person. And I had a lot of people even ask me, what, I, what am I doing? And I actually had somebody ask me if I was on drugs because I was so happy. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I was actually really, it was so funny. I was like, oh my God. And I, um, because of all these books that you read as well, like 
because you're investing in yourself now as a person being on this personal development path you and you you're constantly investing in yourself like i used to hate books and i used to hate reading books but now i yeah. love reading books and i'm even excited to finish the one book that i'm reading so i can get on to the next book because yeah. these personal development books they actually talk to you as a person they talk to you on on your personal level they they tap, really tap into your emotion, your physical, your state, how you think, how you process things, how you acknowledge things, and what, but what you also have to realize is you, you shouldn't just be reading a book. You need, actually need to in, apply it. You need to apply the things that's being taught or being spoken to you in these books because it doesn't matter if you, if you read it and you're like, oh yeah, 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 but you don't do anything about it. You need to now implement it so you can change your life for the better so that you can not just change your life for the better but for the like future generations like your generation <laughs> it's like i'm starting to preach here <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh you're totally but, you're totally right though you're totally right yeah but this is what happened when when both me and Suri joined this millennium mentoring group it's like literally our vault is open like, like even the abundant floodgates are open like how we we programmed our mind now to just see the abundance. Like literally like me, when I'm walking around, right, going to a business, I see opportunities or I see, oh, I can be on this billboard. Or it's like, wow, I can, I can own this place. Or like, I can be the CEO of this place. Or I can buy this, this business. And I'm like, oh, where is the business manager? I would love to talk to him. I can be on their vibration. Before I would never do that. I would be afraid. I would, I wouldn't even know what to say, but things now naturally close because you have been tapping into yourself by that, but, but, but because of the power of the mentor, because they've been doing it for so many years. They've been doing it for so many years. It's like literally they've rolled out the golden cup, not even the red cup, the golden yeah. cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. Through so that. literally, guys, if you are brand new in this industry or even if you, you, you are uh, tracking but you're failing and you're really struggling, not making money and you, you're almost on the verge of giving up, you have to look at your branding, personal branding. Brand yourself so that you can look, look like a leader and be step into the leader so that you can become the leader. By, but be, by becoming the leader, you have to personally invest in yourself. So read your books, go to seminars, attend um, webinars, courses, do that, fill up your cup, fill up your cup with goodness. Because, and once your cup is filled with goodness, you'll just start running and chasing after that goodness all the time, like literally. And sometimes, I'm not sure if Suri has experienced this too, but if you, for example, if you haven't read a book or you haven't read a few pages of a book and you may be now, um, life is getting a little bit busy you actually feel like you need that or you crave it and then once you go back into it it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've felt that <clears throat> yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. yes yeah so i'm i'm happy that you guys have been here on this live and i really hope that you guys take charge like literally take charge don't let you like your emotional state drop you down just this, okay, I'll just give you one tip of, of what you can do also to get yourself in the vibration. Um, there's a few things that you can do, but this is actually something that our mentor has um, taught us. It's where you literally have to get yourself in the success vibration. And some people might think it's weird and funny, but it works. It definitely works. It definitely changed your state as well. And you can do this in your, in your life. You can do this in any situation that you are in your relationship. If there's any troubles, any communication barriers that there is, you can practice, practice this in your daily life as well. So this is just success vibration. Literally what I do, I'm pretty sure someone still does this too. I would literally just like shake and be like, ah, oh, success vibration. And like, even if you do it in front of a mirror, it is more powerful, more and more powerful. If you do it in the mirror and you just, Literally, you just close your eyes. You close your eyes and you visualize yourself in front of you. But you visualize that successful person and where you are. Like what I do, I literally visualize myself on a stage 
where there's an auditorium full of people where I am the person with a message. I visualize that and then I step into it and then I just inhale and then breathe and then success vibration and that works every time regardless of your state, regardless if you came from some sort of argument and you need to do something, you need to get back into action, back into work. That's the vibration that you want to get yourself in. Because we literally, we as human, we are all human. We struggle with this human condition every day, even with the, the, the weather. If the weather is raining, and then you also just naturally feel down. But when it's like sunny, you automatically feel happy. But that's how you have to acknowledgement. That's the big one. Is acknowledgement. How am I feeling? But how do I want to feel? And how should I feel in order to be on the success vibration? So hopefully you guys got a lot of value from that. <laughs> Thank you, Sabri, for being here on the live. It was amazing. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you for having and me. And sharing all your golden nuggets with everybody. So thank you very much. Is there anything else you would like to add? before we hop off? Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I, my advice, you know, would be simply to not only take action because everybody says success is in taking action, mm -hmm. which it is, but it has to be calculated action. And you might as well take the action that you're being taught how to do things from people who have succeeded before you, mm -hmm. right? Imperfect action is great. You know, there's nothing better than taking fast, imperfect action and failing forward as quickly as possible. That is the way to succeed in anything in life. But you want to succeed by having someone like a millionaire mentor guide you on the path. It is life changing. It'll take you from 10 years to one month. And that is no joke. Well, thank you so much. So we thank you everybody for being on this live. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and fantastic day where you guys are tuning in from. This was Melissa Bluchner coming to live from Auckland, New Zealand. See you guys. See you next time.